while we have been resisting lots of individuals, and Scott Pruitt from the EPA was one of the ones who got an awful lot of attention in the first uh, part of this uh, Trump administration, eventually re resigned. Um, are we missing perhaps what's actually being done by some of these people? And have you been keeping an eye on what's actually going on at EPA? Do we, do we focus too much on individuals? You know, I, I think once again, it's a great point. We were kind of obsessed because Pruitt was almost a larger than life character with his personal scandals and his involvement with the natural gas companies and of course his Oklahoma background. Meanwhile, 67 major environmental regulations have been reversed. And I see that personally, of course, as a reporter in the coal fields. You know, the Clean, Air, Clean Water Act, which was uh, passed and forced under President Nixon, was one way we were able to at least stabilize and set certain restrictions on how close uh, coal mining companies could dump their waste and heavy metals into our water. And still it wasn't enforced. You know, and we had been working and reporting on that for years. And now they've even removed that restriction that coal companies can dump directly into waterways. And we're talking, uh, Laura, things like heavy metals like lead and selenium and arsenic, which are really poisoning and killing an American, American citizens. And so, yes, we are really uh, seeing some major damages, which I call almost irreversible damages. And the new EPA chief who's coming on, if he keeps the position, we're hearing that, in fact, he may want to transition out, is a former coal lobbyist who worked for probably the worst coal company in the country. You know, Bob Murray, Murray Energy, who was behind the Crandall Canyon disaster in Utah, who ran one of the worst coal mines in southern Illinois, where my family's from, who has who's led this industry in a state of continual uh, lawlessness and violations. And that is the man who we've asked now to protect our environment. So I think we have to get beyond the personal personnel and really look at the policies themselves and, and in many sense resist these directly. Mm -hmm.